Yo, what's up, man? It's Tone, and I'm here with the first video on my new channel, man. This channel is going to be consistent of strictly good vibes only and things that you need to know that nobody else is going to tell you. The school system is not going to tell you. Some people on YouTube might tell you, but you know what I'm saying? It's rare that you're going to find them. You're going to find them if it's meant for you to find them, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be meant for you to find me if you're watching this video. But look, man. Let me go ahead and get into this. Um, none of this is written down, man. I'm just outside. I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? Sports is evil as fuck, man. Like, all seriousness. Sports is legit modern day slavery. Now listen, listen. If you're watching this video and you just gonna sit here and be like, what is he talking about? You think I'm crazy? This video is just not for you. But you can stay here and listen because I'm the points that I'm saying you might understand. So. Sports is modern day slavery, man. When you think about it, you got all these African American African American players just built different, right? Like you got these absolute animals, like six foot seven, six seven, like three hundred pounds, or six five, two forty, like you know what I'm saying? You got all these great players across the world and they're getting picked for these teams but I want you to actually think about it now the draft everybody who hopes everybody that plays a sport you know hopes to get drafted and well let me let me I'm gonna be specific here basketball and football are the two main slavery related sports now here's why because if you're good and You've been playing ball your whole life. You're just hoping to get drafted, right? But there's a whole nother side to the shit that you're not thinking about. You got the owner, you got the coach, GM, then you got the owner of the team. Now, the owner of the team is like the elites that run this matrix. They don't, you know what I'm saying? They just watch over all this shit. They control what's going on. I'm pretty sure there's somebody over the, over the owner of the team. But that's for another video. But... The owner of this team doesn't care how good you are. They look at you so that you can make them the most money. They don't care if you're good or, good or not. You could be dropping, what, 18, 18 and 10, seven rebounds every game. But if your team isn't winning, or if you're not making money for that, affiliation or that company or yeah affiliation they're gonna get rid of you they're gonna send you somewhere else they don't need you there this shit is about money bro everything is a company this shit is for entertainment you can be good as fuck but if you can't entertain the people if you can't get people to buy into what you're doing they're gonna get rid of you bro they're going to get rid of you. Why do you think that there's so many niggas that are like elite as fuck, but they're not in the NBA? Because they can't make you money, bro. These niggas, they look like you and me. They look like regular niggas. But all these other NBA players, they six foot seven. Got the long wingspan. They got the high vertical. You know what I'm saying? People, people like watching that. That's what people want to watch on TV. That's what they want to be entertained by. You know what I'm saying? People don't want to watch a six foot, a six foot one guard that can't dunk, but he could he could score a little bit, but he can't shoot from damn near half court, but he can still score and give you 18 points a game. People don't want to watch that. People don't want to watch that. And for the select few, like the people that are in the league, like Kyle Lowry, Kyle Lowry, he's not supposed to be there, but he's he's made it there. You know what I'm saying? He's six, he's what six foot even. He's built. He's kind of swole. You know what I'm saying? He's not the fastest, but he plays smart. He got lucky. He made he put he made a footprint big enough in Toronto to where the fans stick around him, and he's making the Toronto Raptors money because fans are buying his jersey. But if he was just Kyle Lowry and didn't have no weight held on his name and just like just a regular dude like a regular ball player then bro he would be out of here 
We wouldn't know Kyle Lowry like how we know him today. Fred Van Fleet, he got lucky. He came from the G League, came to the Raptors, went crazy. And once the fans started getting behind him, fans like, yo, who is this? I like him. The Raptors kept him. There's so many good players out here that go to the NBA and don't play. And they'll be good as hell, but they don't play. In the NBA, they're great at painting images. I know, I've seen, I know so many players that are like cold, like absolutely cold. And in the NBA, they just, they don't play them. And then the video games is another key part. The video games is another key part. If you don't play in real life, then the video games is only making it worse. Because they're going to paint your image. If you already not playing, but you're doing average in the league, the video games are going to paint you as shit. Because think about it. The niggas that are going off in the NBA, their ratings still aren't going to get nowhere near as high as LeBron's. Because LeBron is the John Cena of the NBA. You can't fuck with LeBron. You can't. You know all the times that KD, everybody want to talk about this debate with KD and LeBron? Like, regardless, that shit's never, like, KD's never going to reach that point with LeBron. And it's not because of skill level. It's just because, like, the amount of love that LeBron James has in the league. He had damn near, not saying that he had the same amount, but damn near the same amount of love as Kobe did when he was in the league. He is the face of the NBA, and you can't touch that. If you, yeah, you can talk about skill level, about KD being like all these different aspects of scoring and whatever, being better than LeBron. But at the end of the day, the media and the actual NBA will never portray KD as better than LeBron, ever. And you know why? Because they can make the most money with LeBron. The league can never. Bro, the league could not play no more games right now. Like, they could cancel the season. But if LeBron says, I want to play, let's start the playoffs tomorrow, the NBA will get up off their ass and start that fucking season and start the playoffs. Because LeBron said so. LeBron is the, LeBron is the high-tier slave. He is the highest-tier slave. He is the god tier slave for this, for the NBA, for this entertainment. The NBA is entertainment. Everything you see on TV is entertainment, bro. Everything is about money. Okay? Now let's go to the NFL. All right? Now, with the NFL, I know you guys can see. I, really, I don't even have to explain this shit that much for the NFL. Like, come on, bro. You got these big dudes. You don't, bro, you don't have to be good to go to the NFL. Yes, I'm going to say it. You don't have to be good. Look at this dragonfly. He's over here trying to fuck with my video, bro. You don't have to be good. You don't. I'm going to break it to you. You don't have to be good. If you just have a demigod body, yo, this dragonfly, bro, get away, bro. Watch out. Yeah, y'all watching me? Yeah. But if you got a demigod body type, let's say you 6'8", 300 and you can run a little bit that's it you're going to the NFL you're going you're going to the NFL if you are six if you are beyond six foot five and over 250 pounds and you and you just go out there and play football you don't have to do shit 